Our next ingredient, the two garlic cloves. I'm going to show you something different tonight. In a dressing like this, in an oil and vinegar, we could chop the garlic and put it in the dressing. But what's going to happen, let's think of this logically, when you're eating your Greek salad, oh, I got a big bite of raw garlic. And you two, three, four, oh, I got another big bite of raw garlic, right? It's not going to be thoroughly and consistently spread out throughout the salad, right? You're going to have these chunks. We don't want that. So we want this to be like a garlic paste as fine as possible so we can whiz it in the dressing and spread it all the way throughout the salad. You could pull out your, you know, trusty old garlic press, nothing wrong with that, and just press it right into the dressing. But I'm going to show you something else. And I'm showing you this in case maybe you can't find your garlic press one day. Maybe... You know, the kids borrowed it and they're squishing worms in the garden with it or something. Maybe I haven't got a garlic press. It's just good to have knowledge. So I just cut off those little hard bits off the end. We're going to take our knife, smack your garlic, skin comes off, and we're left with garlic flesh. <sighs> Come on, work with me. There's people watching. What we're going to do instead of getting the garlic press, we're going to pulverize this on the cutting board with a knife. What you need to do that is an abrasive, much like sandpaper, to wear down this garlic into a paste. Normally, I would say, okay, do your salt, but I also want to share with you, you notice the next ingredient of the dressing is two tablespoons of white sugar, which I have here. This is also granules like salt. You could use the sugar to pulverize your garlic. So I'm just going to steal some of that sugar. All we're doing is taking the knife and literally crushing the garlic and then you just use the abrasiveness of that sugar or salt and the side of your knife with some pressure to literally pulverize it into a paste within seconds. Look at that. So you don't have a garlic crush to wash or anything. Yes, you got a cutting board to wash afterwards, right? And a knife, but hey, you know what? Chances are you're using a cutting board and a knife already when you're prepping something that involves garlic. But look at that garlic paste there. And then we'll bring our dressing and put that garlic paste right into our dressing. Nice, eh?